Algebra 1, number 5.7b, we're talking about adding polynomials. We're going to add them in columns. We can stack polynomials and add them in columns. We line up the like terms to add them easier. So take a look at these two big polynomials right here. This one's got four terms, and this one's got three terms. And they're not identical, are they? They have different terms. Well, we look at which term has the highest exponent, and that's the one that's going to be put first. We have to make room for the one that's got the next highest exponent, so we leave a blank up here, and that's where this one sits. Then we go with the 2p to the third power, that's where this one sits. This one doesn't have a p to the third power, so we leave it blank. Then they both have a p to the second power, don't they? Those we can stack, and they both have a constant at the end, don't they? So we can stack those. So we align them by exponents. Then we just bring down the terms or add the like terms to make one big polynomial. So these two polynomials end up becoming this one big polynomial. We bring the 9p to the fifth power down. We bring the 5p to the fourth power down, the 2p to the third. 6p take away 7p is a one p, negative 1p. So we don't write our 1. We just have a p to the second power. And 3 and 6 makes 9, so we have one big polynomial, see? Take a look at these two big polynomials. We're going to add this one to this one. We're going to look for the biggest exponent, and that's what's going to be put farthest to the left. And this term right here has the biggest exponent, so it's going to be sticking out farther to the left than this one. So we write this one, 3a third to the third power b, and... 6a to the second power b to the third power minus 4a, and then we leave a space to add the plus 3 because this one's got a minus b, and that's going to go right together like that. So they're all spread out. We rewrite them stacked up, lining up the terms. So now we've dropped down this 2a to the fourth power b. 3a to the third power b minus 4a to the third power b is a negative 1. We don't write the 1, so we just got a to the third power b. We drop down this guy. Negative 4 plus 6 is going to be a positive 2 with the a. We drop down that minus the b, and we drop down the plus 3. And we're finished because there's no like terms to combine or collect. You have to make sure to pay attention to the exponents and to spread them out. So the terms are stacked correctly with the exponents going in descending order from largest to smallest. We use the a as the descending exponent. We can add as many polynomials together as we want as long as the columns are correct. So if we had another polynomial, we could have stacked it with these. We just have to make sure that we've got the terms all stacked correctly. Now, if you're confused about the descending order, it's a video we did a little while ago. You can see the link to that video in the description of this one, okay? All right, we're going to move on to 5.8a, and we're going to talk about subtracting polynomials, okay? I'll see you there. Bye.